Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, January 11th, 2018. Before I even get started, um, I'm going to cover a few things here that some people are not going to like. Uh, but I think at the end of this video, you will understand that what I am saying here is true. And we, as a people, have got to do something about it. So let's start off with this. As I am doing this video blog, um, the stock market is higher by about 85 points. Okay, that's all well and good. Let's look at a couple of other aspects of this market. The US dollar right now is getting crushed, and I mean crushed, bleeding off purchasing power right now, so you are poorer right now than you were yesterday with regard to purchasing power. A trend which I have been explaining is going to continue and get worse through this year. No doubt about it. Something else is going on here. Yesterday's bond market sell-off was epic. Absolutely epic. You saw how that played out. Um, this apparent rumor now, and I want to talk about this thing with, with China, that's really what the focus is going to be on in a minute, um, caused the bond market to sell off rapidly, put pressure on stocks, which did rebound at the end of the day as some entity out here uh, started buying up those bonds. Well, bonds right now are selling off again. So we got a dollar bleeding. We got bond market under pressure here. We got gold and silver up as well. Again, the derivatives, I despise talking about them. They're not real. There's no price discovery mechanism behind them whatsoever, but I'll just bring it up here in this video. As of now, I have not opened up any new positions. I don't like the way this market is trading right now. I didn't like it yesterday. That's why I closed my positions with a nice fat profit, especially on BAC. AIG only 4%, but that's one day. I mean, come on. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to sit back here and I want to see what happens with this bond market. Now let's move forward to the topic that I think some people are not going to like. That is, this issue here with, with China, all right, we understand. Now apparently this was just a rumor that's being debunked on the mainstream financial channels. This article yesterday came out on Bloomberg, which stated that China wasn't happy holding U.S. debt in this environment. Well, hold on a minute. Who does that sound like? Maybe me. I don't know what entity on this earth would want to hold U.S. debt uh, in this environment. Uh, all these countries are doing, like China, who is one of the largest holders of U.S. debt on the earth, is subsidizing our economy and our lifestyle by, by buying up these IOUs. That's all this is. They can never be paid back. We know that. We're never going to grow out of this. It's just... The, the debt that, our, that you and I, I mean the national debt here, let's not even talk about the unfunded liabilities and everything connected to it, is a terrible, pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, it's a terrible liability. I can't stress that enough. So what's going on here? This, this story, this is not fake news, and I believe there's something very dark and ugly lying underneath it. Bear with me. Bear with me here. So we understand that the debt here is a terrible liability. Okay. We also understand that President Trump has been touting stock market gains unlike any president I've ever seen in the history of my lifetime of 52 years. Now, China China, again, being one of the largest holders of the U.S. debt on the planet, okay, they floated this story out there yesterday. It rattled the markets. This was not fake news. China, are you ready for what I'm about to say? You better sit down. Is weaponizing the stock market. Why would they be weaponizing the stock market like this? Very simple. Again, President Trump wants it going higher. It creates the illusion of wealth. People have paper gains. He is overly concerned with making sure it goes higher. Now, it's no secret that President Trump 
has been, uh, I don't know what the word is, needling in a way, China, lately, they don't like it. So this story that came out yesterday um, is, was real. It's China sending a message directly to President Trump saying, hold on a minute. Understand that we're subsidizing your economy, we're subsidizing your stock market, and all we need to do is float out a story, and you can see how the market will react to it. So if this were real, if China really said, hey, you know what, we're done subsidizing the U.S. economy, we're done buying U.S. debt, it would cut the stock market in half in a matter of a, a few days. China has, has fired a warning shot across the bow of the Trump administration telling them to stay in line. Um, so they are, in effect, weaponizing the stock market. Understand, the United States has the most powerful military in the world. It's very hard to argue that. But it would be worthless uh, in an environment like this. Again, if just China were to say, we're going to dump our debt, we're done subsidizing the United States, our economy goes into free fall overnight, our markets go into free fall at that moment, the United States will be brought to its knees by China without firing one single shot. The debt is such a terrible liability that and there's no way out of it. We can't fix it. I've, I've explained to you for years that the debt-based economic model demands that cash be borrowed into existence in perpetuity. It cannot stop ever. Now, because of that, it has become a liability of epic proportions. The debt is going to be, the debt is being weaponized right now by China. And let me tell you, if I were China, I think I'd be doing the same thing here. They're subsidizing our lifestyle. Do you think this is real? The environment that we're in, how can it be real if we are tens of trillions of dollars in debt? It's not real. You understand, this is fantasy land. Uh, I mean, like seriously, Disney should make a movie about this. You know, the truth is stranger than fiction. This is a fact. So President Trump can sit there and buy more F-35s or more whatever missiles and build carriers all he wants. He can do that. Yeah, with more borrowed money and make our debt an even greater liability. In China over there, let me tell you about these people over there. They are super smart and shrewd. They know exactly what they're doing. All they need to do is pull the rain like this, poop, poop, and President Trump will march right in freaking line. That's the truth here. Um, they don't need to fire a shot anymore. All they need to do is manipulate the financial markets. That's how the next war is going to be won. Not by firing bullets, but by manipulating and rigging the financial markets. You understand? And yesterday, this whole thing, this was just it, it was like, a, like, I can't even stress to you how small that was. And you saw what happened to the bond market. People, mark my words, and I have said this for the longest time. The global debt is the greatest threat to human life on this planet. And it's a very simple concept to understand. We have borrowed from the future to support where we are right now. If we're no longer able to do that, we cannot support the lifestyles that we have now. Resource, resources will dry up, and we will see a loss of life on a biblical scale uh, without this mechanism going. It's a terrible, terrible liability, this dead people. So what we need to do, whether you're a Trump supporter or not, I'm a Trump supporter, we need to make make it known that we have had just about enough and we need to get our, our debt and our deficits under control. Um, we have to find a way to take back the financial system. I don't know how. It'll probably take a revolution to do that. Unfortunately, a lot of people would die. But um, you can see what's happening here, people. The stock market is being weaponized and it will be used as a weapon 
against the people. Forget about dropping bombs on populations like they used to do in previous wars, and they, they still do now, for those of you that live in the dark. Uh, and are, are also subsidizing the U.S. military and what they're doing right now. Oh, you don't hear about this, do you? No, no, no. Maybe you should do a little research about that. Look, this whole thing is disgusting. Uh, and, they're, and they're pulling us all along by the strings. They are the puppet masters, okay? And right now, we saw what China did. China just pulled that rein just a little bit. Anyway... The prospect of the, of the financial markets being weaponized should scare the hell out of you, uh, especially if you have investments here, uh, because you're going to suffer the most. It's true. All right, with that said, um, I'd love to hear from you. If you think this has been important, if you think you will not hear this on any of the mainstream financial channels, give me a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Spread it around. Let's get it out there. Let people understand. You know, most people will hear this kind of stuff. They won't even understand it. They can't walk and chew gum at the same time. You know that. But you, uh, if you follow this blog, you have several functioning brain cells. Uh, and uh, I think you understand what's going on here. So share this. Get it out there. Let people understand what's happening here. So uh, forget about military conflicts. It's financial war. Uh, which is going to bring the world to its knees and the United States to its knees. China knows it. They're very smart. And believe me, they're going to, that rain, the little rains that they pulled yesterday, they will pull a lot harder if President Trump doesn't do exactly what they want. All right, I will see you at the end of the day. If I do post a new position or take up a new position, I'll post it on my social networks. I want to watch that bond market first. Keep your eye on that dollar too, it's getting slaughtered over and out.